Hi brothers and sisters in Christ, I hope you are doing very well. This morning as I was spending time with the Lord, He gave me a vision with a accompanied word for the body of Christ. So He basically showed me a camp that looked kind of like an army camp with tents there and outside of the tents I could see people clothed in military gear and some were sitting on stools, others were standing, some had bandages on their heads where they obviously had a wound to the head, some had basically um, been crippled because of war, um, losing some limbs, others were just bleeding, others were sitting quite depressed with their head in their hands and you could see that all of these ones were quite beaten down, almost like they've become quite defeated in the battle of war. And as I was walking with the Lord in between these tents, we basically just saw the people wanting to give up. And then the Lord just said to me to release this word of encouragement. And as I did that, we basically saw the people standing up and getting ready in the fight. And that is a word of encouragement for the body of Christ because many are weary and many are tired of fighting and many have been overrun by the enemy. They have come out very wounded, very bruised, and they almost feel like throwing in the towel. And so these words, I pray, will bring refreshment to your heart. And I will type out the word that the Lord gave with this vision. And I'll put the link down in the description for you where you can go and have a read through it in your own time on the blog page. And so the Lord said, Speak these words to the weary souls. I am coming soon, my children. Do not lose heart. Do not lose your strength. Do not lose your ability to stand and fight. Look. The enemy has overrun you. The enemy has trampled you. The enemy has injured you and at times defeated you. I know you long for respite. I know you long for peace. But how can there be peace during a time of war? Are you not in a spiritual battle between good and evil? How, they can, how can there then be peace between good and evil? Does not peace come after one or the other wins? You are fighting the good fight of faith until I return, until I return with my angel armies and overthrow all that is evil. Until that day, are you not my soldiers, my warriors, that hold the battle lines against all that is evil? If you keep walking around defeated, will you not continue to be defeated? Do you not realize this is the plan of the enemy, to wear you down, battle after battle, so that you lose your morale? As when you lose your morale, you lose your will to fight, and then you become weak, depressed, and downcast. The enemy then pushes you back, gaining more territory in the world, for you give up, and you give up praying, you give up worshipping, you give up praising me, you give up binding up um, each other's wounds, you give up all hope for deliverance and rescue. Does this not have to do with your mindset during battle? You focus on the strain the pain, the hardship of the battle, rather than looking at the glorious opportunity of pushing back the darkness, of gaining ground on the enemy, of making the enemy shake and tremble in fear because you push forward with all your might, energy and enthusiasm. As you understand, there are wounds and injuries in battle. However, the sweetness of victory makes it all worth it. The opportunity to turn some of the enemy's opponents to join your side. The opportunity to fight for those who cannot fight for themselves. Do not be weak. Do not be downcast. Lift your eyes and see. You already have the victory in me. So go out and fight, my precious ones. Be not afraid of the enemy, for what can he do to you? This life is temporary, and I watch over your soul. I do not leave you alone to fight. I am with you, and you receive angelic assistance to help you push back darkness. If you need refreshment, come drink of me and eat of me, for my flesh is real food and my blood is real drink. Partake of me and you will find refreshment for your souls. I am proud of you for not giving up the fight even if you at times feel to do so. Arise, my precious ones, arise. Continue the fight while it is still day. Push back the darkness through prayer, worship and praise. Gain your strength through intimacy with me. Receive my encouragement in our quiet times together. 
Still your heart and mind so you can hear me speak. I am coming back for you. Do not lose heart. I love you, my precious ones. So my beautiful God, Lord, I thank you so much that in you we can find refreshment, Lord. Thank you, God, that you give us everything we need for life and godliness and that when we are weary, we can just come to you, Lord. Thank you for understanding our situations. So, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus for every brother and sister of mine who feel like those soldiers, who feel defeated, who feel depressed and downcast from all the battles and weariness. I pray, my Lord, that they will be strengthened to remember, God, that the good works they do for you here are not in vain. I pray, Lord, that you help them to keep pushing back the darkness. And I pray, Lord, that they will find that everlasting joy and delight in you, in knowing, God, that they are part of your kingdom already. In Jesus' most holy and powerful name. Amen. All right, my brothers and sisters, have a wonderful day. God bless you.